Hello, my friends, and welcome back once again to Brotherhood of the Bat Collectibles, your one stop for all things high end statue collecting reviews, unboxing statue chats, live entertainment like Rogues Gallery Live, and so much more. My name's Chris. I'm the Batman statue collector, and I'm going to do kind of a live reaction today. JD Studio has put out their out of the box featuring the uh, one third scale. Heath Ledger Joker. Now this is a piece that uh, I did not purchase. I actually purchased the Prime 1 piece and I'm anxious to see if I made a mistake or not. If I should have went ahead and purchased it and it how, you know basically how the production piece turned out. And so I thought I would do kind of this reaction video with you guys so you can kind of like watch alongside me and see if you guys think it looks as good as a prototype or if you think I should add it to the collection or not. So we're going to watch this together but before we do that if you are new here please hit that red subscribe button down below it's free and I think you're really going to have a great time joining us here for some great collecting content here on the Batman Statue Collector channel and also if you would please hit that like button that does help with the YouTube algorithm okay so without further ado let's watch this video together here we go what's up y'all we're back this is unboxing show and tell of JD Studios one so <laughs> right off the bat I noticed one box so that is freaking awesome right okay here we go looks good it looks just like the prototype Maybe a little bit better paint, actually. To do so, but as you may well know, there's a lot of factory power problems going on in China, as well as a lot of the logistics slowing down, and so production got pushed back. I love J and D. They're talking about production, factory, worldwide events, pushing everything back. So again, they're talking about the delays. Begin to deliver for our website purchasers in November. The last week of November. Wow. And hopefully we'll finish up all delivery by the end of So they're talking about website uh, deliveries will be end of November. And then everybody else. Okay, so here we got the box. Very simple. As you can see, it's a luxurious design once again. Luxurious. Very nice. So that's cool. Uh, kind of a purplish box. Maybe would have liked a little darker purple, but uh, I'm not going to be too picky here. Um, anyway, it looks like it comes in two parts. Obviously, this is going to be a very nice box. Um, oh, and the straps. It's got the straps on the inside, which is incredibly nice. I wish more companies, actually most companies anymore, do that. Um, it's just so nice, so much better than the tape. Let's see how many compartments. It looks like maybe one or two. Wow, oh, okay, so here we go. One figure. Uh, it's not multiple parts. You don't have to put them together. Maybe the hands, possibly, weapons. All right, so two trays, which is nice. But again, one box, so much nicer for shipping purposes. So that's it in the bottom is the base. It's cool. This base is very simplistic, um, but I think it's okay. Um, it's obviously got a really cool manhole cover on it, which is neat. Oh, I got the machine gun in there as well. Okay. Um, I believe there's also a knife swap out. Yeah, there it is. The knife swap out right there. This should be a really pretty easy out of the box here because it's literally just the base and the statue. Our previous product, Wonder Woman 1984. We have less parts to assemble. All you have to do is pick up the entire body. You can see maybe some wrinkling being an issue. We might have to steam that out. But easy key in there. There you can see the hands. Now, in the first layer of the packaging, we have Joker's hands. Yeah, the hands. I'm anxious to see how they uh, engineered this because most of the time the weapons are like tension fit or the, the hand is attached so to the gun already. Two versions of the right hand. So two rights, two lefts. You know, from a distance, he's looking really good. I'm anxious to see the tailoring up close. Um, there was some issues with like the collar, uh, where it had the stitches were too big on the prototype. I'm anxious to see if they fix that or not. Remove the thumb, which is magnetic. 
Okay, so that's interesting. They did the thumb magnetic. So that's pretty cool, actually. Uh, I don't know if I've ever seen anybody do that. Maybe the, the Infinity Studios Batman kind of did something like that with the battering. But that's kind of cool. So this way you can literally have it without the gun if you want with that hand. But yeah, it's cool with the magnet. The thumb is magnetized. That's pretty cool. I'm not going to show that to you. <laughs> See, you're talking about Warner Brothers here. You can't have the gun uh, with pointing. Like that's a big Warner Brothers no-no these days. So you you can't have the guns. That's funny. Look, that's cool. With the thumb. That's neat. That's a cool idea. And it also guarantees that it'll stay. Like it'll stick. Obviously, magnetized hands, magnetized parts here. That's smart because like I've. I've had other jokers where the pieces fall out of their hand, the gun falls out. Maybe not the gun, but definitely the knife. That's cool. That's really cool. So this piece is kind of museum-like. It's again that hit me scene. Um, obviously the tailoring looks pretty good. Obviously the, the hair is hand punched. Some people today thought maybe the hair looked a little too thick. Heath Ledger had pretty thinning hair. So far the suit looks really good. I named my son Ledger, so I've studied this character very, very much. You know how much uh, Heath Ledger means to me. Um, Heath Ledger Joker. Um, yeah, uh, obviously, like I said, you might have some wrinkles out of the box. I can even see some as he's pulling on it here. Um, but, you know, you might be able to steam those out. Tailoring looks good. Um, yeah, I'm impressed. Okay, so let's see what he has to say about this. Okay, side profile. I did not buy this one because of the lightness. I feel like it's close from certain angles, but other angles it's not. Um, I did order the Prime One piece. I have the Queen Studios pieces. I was curious as to if if this would look better in production. I do think it looks very good. I think from that angle right there, it looks pretty good, but I don't see I don't see Ledger 100%. But I do think the paint looks really good here. Yeah, the, the red looks great. Uh, you could see the skin color underneath the paint. Very, very good. Obviously, this is silicone here. Um, from this side angle here, uh, I do see a lot of Heath Ledger. I think they captured it. It's hard to capture him. Uh, it's hard to capture him correctly. Um, a lot of companies have tried. Again, I think that Prime One and Queen Studios has been the closest. I even, you know, I'm spending a lot of money on the Infinity Studios bust, and it's not 100%. But I think from that angle, it's pretty close. I think from the front, definitely from the other side, I'm not sure about. Uh, here we get to see the shoes. Shoes look pretty good. They look pretty screen accurate. They've got some weathering on the top. You got to have the two tones of browns. I love the manhole cover on it, and you, I like that you can put the gun on the base. Again, very simple museum type base, but it is in line with their other pieces. Wonder Woman 84, Catwoman. Let's look at the tailoring here. The inner suit, look at the fabric there. That is beautifully done. Uh, I am noticing the big stitches still on the suit. That bothers me a little bit. It wasn't that big in the movie. But there is some weathering there, which is accurate on the shoulder, the shoulder line here. Definitely accurate. I think the clothes itself looks very good. Hair looks good here. I could see it being a little thick, but it's okay. It's all hand punched, which is incredible. Yeah, that inner tailoring, it looks really good. That inner suit is incredibly thin in the movie. Very, very thin material, and it, they captured it really, really well here. I like that he's hunched a little bit. That definitely exudes Heath Ledger to me. They got the chain, pants. Yeah, everything. Look at the, the detail in the gloves there. That was good too. The tailoring. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm really impressed with the way the tailoring turned out. Um, hair looks good here. Again, paint looks very good. That angle right there, I'm not as sold on. I'm not as sold on that angle. That one's pretty good. Again, I really like that you can see the skin through the makeup. He's got some makeup on his neck. It's 
definitely more of a serious Joker. It's not that rage face that maybe I would have liked for this pose. Oh, talking about a PO here, this of course is the Dark Knight. One third scale that's coming out from them. They're teasing it already. Blew me away. Thank you very much. Blew him away. The unboxing show and tell of J and D Studios. One third scale. Gotta say, he looks good. The Joker from the Dark. Whew. Okay. So let's uh, let's dive a little deeper here. Um, my initial impression is I think that this looks as good if not better than the prototype um the likeness still to me is i'm going to say 93 percent there i still do not think it is as good of a sculpt as the prime one piece or the queen studio pieces with that said though i still think this looks really good um silicone some of you out there you might be bothered by that i am still not if you live in a desert direct sunlight do not buy this. If you live in a controlled environment with not, not a lot of sun, like this bat cave is temperature controlled, blah, blah, blah. If you have any of that, I think you're going to be fine. They say they're going to last for 30, 40, 50 years. I don't know anything in my collection that is that old. I can't imagine you owning this piece for 40, 50 years. Maybe I'm wrong, but I just think silicone, you're going to be okay. But again, if you have really rough conditions, really rough display areas, I don't know if it's going to be for you. With that said, though, the tailoring looks phenomenal. Um, the larger stitches, it's just a little nitpick. Again, I think overall the suit looks very good. I think it looks like just incredibly custom tailored. Um, for them to be able to replicate that on a lot of statues is very impressive. Price point on these statues are still a little high, but I see the quality there in the clothes. So I can see where maybe this one's a little bit more than some of the other ones. Um, I still feel like Wonder Woman's the best one that they've done so far, likeness-wise. I think this is really good. I'm still not 100% sold on Catwoman or Margot Robbie's Harley Quinn. I feel like super teethy, or, you know, just it look like dentures to me. Maybe they'll improve that. Maybe they won't. I don't know. Um, I'm anxious to see The Dark Knight as well and see if they'll do, like, maybe an unmasked portrait. But again, as I look at this, I do think that there is value here. I think that if you ordered this one, you're going to be very, very happy. Um, I don't need seven one-third scale Heath Ledger Jokers. Um, I've already have the Queen Studio sitting down, which you can see. That's why I put them back there. Um, also, I'll have the one-third scale from Prime One, the Infinity Studios bust. And um, so I feel like I'm kind of good there. But I do feel like this one turned out pretty darn awesome. Um, it's maybe not as dynamic as the Prime One piece. I really like how he's holding the card. Um, this would have been awesome if it was the grenade scene. Uh, Queen Studios is doing that in one fourth scale. I wish this one was that pose. If it was, I probably would have bought it. Um, just because I really like that scale and I really like that pose. But overall, I think it turned out pretty great. Again, 93, 94% there for me in terms of lightness. Um, if they would have just maybe tweaked that a little bit, I think I would have maybe been 100% sold. But I am going to turn it over to you. Do you guys think I'm wrong? Do you think the likeness is spot on? I know some people said, Chris, initially, like, how, how could you possibly say it's not 100% perfect? I just don't see it. Um, again, I've studied his face. Um, I would have maybe liked more of a rage face. Um, I think that would have fit the pose a little bit more. Um, and maybe would have maybe looked a little bit more like him. I'm not sure. Um, I know the rage face. I know the smile on faces, like the smile face that Hot Toys did. I didn't think that was very good. Um, and I know some people, was, they were blown away by it. They loved it. But I just don't see it um, as much. But I do think the base is okay. I would have liked to maybe seen some playing cards. Would have been cool on the base. Um, that would have been an easy, cheap thing for them to make. Um, I like the rooted hair. I think, again, the paint looks really spot on. What else? Um, I don't know. I just think it's a cool piece, but I don't know if at the end of the day if it'll be for me, if it'll be in the Batcave. I might regret it, but again, I do want to turn it over to you. What do you guys think about it? Am I wrong? Am I right? Um, are you ordering this? Are you excited about it? I want to know everything. I want to know your thoughts and opinions about how you think this production piece looks and turned out. I would love, I just, again, I love reading the comments, so thank you guys for that. 
Thank you for listening to me ramble on for 15 minutes or so. And again, leave your comments down below what you think about this piece and if I am right or wrong about my assessment on this piece, okay? So anyway, if you are new here, guys, please hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, click that notification bell. And if you wanna take it one step further and help support this channel, uh, you can do so by hitting the join button down below for early access to our videos, bat boxes, other perks, and those type of things. And you can also support us on Patreon as well. So anyway, thank you guys so very much for checking out the video today. And I'll see you soon right here in the back cave. Oh, by the way, if you like these type of videos, you want me to see, uh, you want to see me do more, please leave that also in the comments. Okay, now I'll see you in the back cave. Bye everybody. Hey guys, thank you so very much for watching today. And if you're new here, please hit the subscribe button right here on the screen and check out these two awesome videos. I think you're going to love them. And also please join us on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. I would love to have you join in all the fun. Thank you guys so very much for watching. See you in the Batcave.